there's absolutely no music. Sun is shining. There's no music going on at the moment. Good morning. The sun Happy is Monday. As Tom is singing very off key, the sun is shining today. Off key for sun. At this point, I honestly think I should make a video that I only ate from an air fryer for a week because that is basically an average week in this house now. <laughs> we got the secondhand oven. Tom's parents kindly lent it to us and we don't use it. <laughs> the air fryer has replaced every piece of cooking equipment in this house and I could not be more okay with it. So, plan for this week. We have the carpenter coming on Thursday. Today is Monday. So before he comes, we need to paint the wall in the study. We're going for a dark blue. I was meant to do that last week. Did not do that last week. Paint all of the banisters and spindles for the stairs black. We've decided on a black. And we need to spray all of the flooring for woodworm or all of the flooring where skirting board's going to go down. We just want to paint everything before it gets installed as it's going to be a hell of a lot easier to paint. Those are our big three tasks. We also have a skip coming this weekend, meaning we're going to clear the entire garden, clean up the house, get rid of all the stuff that's been lying around that's too big for the bin, that we've just kind of let pile for ages. So I think it's gonna be a very cathartic week of cleanup. Need to get those bits done for the carpenter. And yeah, that is the plan. First lunch, then the pesky full-time job, and then uh, we can get cracking on the house this evening. Okay, so the painting I'm referring to is in my new favorite room in the whole world. And yeah, we're talking about this back wall here. These are the two paint colors that we painted the other day. We both prefer this one, and so that's what we're painting. This might be the most stupid reason in the world to paint a wall, but basically Tom and I's desks are going to be here against this wall. And so I want the wall behind us to look pretty cool. So I'm thinking a dark wall, loads of prints, uh, we're also thinking over here next to the window, a couple of bookshelves, a nice comfy chair over there for reading, and then yeah, our desk's over here. So that's the plan, that's why we're painting, and now we just have to paint. I mean, would it be one of my videos if I didn't end up wearing this at one point or another? So I got this new, I think it's called an edging brush. If anyone's seen the new season of Big Mouth, you know why I'm uncomfortable saying edging brush. But um, I've now convinced myself I don't need masking tape, which isn't entirely true, but you just get better with practice. The, uh, the wall is painted, but I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to show you a natural light and also it's a little bit splotchy because some areas are dry and some aren't. Moving swiftly onwards though, it is half past five on Sunday and you might be able to tell by my hands that I've already started another job. The carpenter is confirmed he is coming next Thursday or this Thursday coming and basically everything wood he's going to install. So he's building the storage in the main bedroom for our eaves. He's putting down all of the skirting. He's doing all the architraves around the doors and he's going to install our stair banisters and spindles. So I think I've mentioned this to you already, but I've kind of been umming and ahhing about painting the spindles black, painting them white, but Tom made a really good point. Everything we've painted black so far we've loved and also I love black. I think it's a really easy way of making our little Victorian house, which isn't particularly grand or special, feel a lot more traditional and grand and special. And so I'm just saying screw it. I'm gonna paint them black and uh, hopefully we love them. Also one thing I really don't want our house to look is boring. So the white walls and the light carpets and the white banisters, I don't know. Maybe there's not enough going on, but I'm just gonna paint them black and see how we go. And we can always paint them white. So as you can see, I've already got some behind me and I've got half painted one right here and I thought I would show you how I'm finding this the easiest to paint. So I've just got the biggest brush possible to cover as much as possible with each stroke and I'm dipping it in the paint and then 
what I've seen online is that you're basically just meant to, to avoid brush strokes, just kind of slap it. And then for here, I kind of do the same. And then you can see it goes on kind of well. Then I just spin it round and do the other side. Now, as you can see, this uh, slapping process does cause quite a few flickers of paint. And even though the carpets won't be down, with our fresh white walls, uh, we made the executive decision that painting before they were installed would be a lot better. And also just kind of trying to get around spindles when they're so close to one another to get the kind of motion that you need would probably be quite hard. So hoping this was a good decision, we'll find out soon enough. And uh, yeah, basically going to spend the rest of my evening slapping away at some spindles and hopefully get as many of these done as possible. I've got two done here, two more done here, and then this one here that I was showing you me doing. But <laughs> as you can see, I've got a lovely pack of 21 over there and a second pack in the bathroom. So 42 spindles in total. It's gonna be a hell of a long night, I'll tell you that much. I'm 12 down, which means I'm 21 minus 12, nine to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am indeed nine to go. Actually not taking as long as I thought. Probably take me a couple of hours to paint all of these and then I do need to move on to the big ones, but I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. I'm gonna finish painting all of these. I've got Hannah Lee Duggan on YouTube getting me through. Um, I can't really watch her videos without immediately wanting to sell this and buy a cabin in the woods, but Eamon and Becca are also making me think about this a lot. But uh, let's just be happy with what we've got for now, right? Oh my God, look what I've done to this just by touching it. <gasps> I'm too scared to get into our clean and new shower like this. I thought it was worth showing you my legs before I went to bed. Okay, I'm currently editing this and I realized that's the only clip I took of my legs but I wanted to come back because I had to warn you about this or at least tell you about my ordeal I was painting in just a top I wasn't wearing any trousers it was a warm evening um there's just me and the banisters you know having a great time doing a bit of painting I screwed up I know I said at one point I don't even know what I said it's not oil-based paint it's solvent paint so it's not oil-based paint ignore everything I don't know what that paint was well I know what it was it was solvent paint but it got on my legs and my arms and under my nails and in my hair and on my face and it did not go away for three solid days. And every single one of those three days, I sat in the shower scrubbing my legs and my body with a nail brush. There's like little things that you clean your nails with. It was agony. I was raw as a little pink piggy uh, and it wouldn't come off. And I say three days, after three days, I stopped trying. There were still flecks all over me. Eventually they did wash off, but um, yeah, just a very detailed warning. That paint is a bitch. It's uh, 11 a.m. on a Sunday and we've got a very action-packed day ahead of us. The skip got delivered on Friday. Um, Tom and his dad worked on the house yesterday. We didn't do too much, just what is happening at the moment is a lot of finishing touches. So just patching up some holes in the floor, uh, finishing some electrics, making sure some light switches are the right way around, that sort of stuff. So nothing too exciting, but we are very, very lucky and we've got some very kind friends uh, who are giving up their Sunday to help us clear the garden. Skip's delivered, the garden's gonna be clear, and I cannot wait to get started. So, let me open this window. <laughs> this is uh, our lovely neighbor's garden, our other neighbor's garden, and this is currently our garden. So, 
a lot of work to be done. Now I'm up here, I think it's a pretty good angle to uh, watch the progress get done. So let me sit you down and let's begin what will be a very, very long time lapse. Hey sexies! <laughs> up with the thoughts in your mind they're everywhere and it's hard for me to bear cuz I get so lost so it's been about just under an hour making some pretty sweet progress uh, still got all these bricks at the back but we're deciding what to do with those all of this mud here can stay for when we do plants or a little planting area got a human compactor <laughs> But yeah, it's clearing up nicely. Um, an absolute dump, but we'll see. Everyone rate your day so far? Rate the day? Yeah. Eh, solid eight. Nice. What's been your favorite part? Solid two, because you won't throw anything away. <laughs> <laughs> they come in handy. Probably just smashing shit. Do you need a pipe? Tom's a hoarder. <laughs> Tom's a hoarder. <laughs> no, uh, I, think, I think they're going to agree with me that there's stuff you need and there's priorities of what to put in the tip. Because you are finishing my sentences when I don't know what I'm about to say. But that's what I like. We just like in and yeah. So, the way that we tempt our friends into working is by promising pizza. <laughs> and uh, Tom doesn't even let his friends wash their hands and take their first <laughs> slice before he starts eating. <laughs> Priorities. Rude. <laughs> we are men! <laughs> we are very close to the end of the day. Here is looking bare and beautiful. But we do have a very big pile of bricks, so here's the game plan. We've got Mike. Mike is the organiser. He'll be picking up a brick and deciding if the brick is a full brick or a broken brick. Then, broken. <laughs> broken. Then we have two, what are these called? Wheelbarrows. Then we have two wheelbarrows. One is being emptied into the skip. There's another one here. Once Mike decides if it's broken or full, he'll pass the broken ones to Tom, who puts them in there, or the full ones to me, who passes them to Stuart, who lines them up. That's the plan. I will now, I will now show you how it's done. Just got out the shower after a very, very long day of clearing that garden. It looks pretty good. It's pretty much empty. I mean, we've got a lot of bricks and rubble still at the back, but we did fill an entire skip in five hours. The skip physically cannot hold anymore. So we're done with that one skip. A lot of those bricks will come in handy when we're laying down the foundations for our patio. So I think we should be fine. And we're also just gonna put on Facebook Marketplace bricks for free, hoping that some people will come and grab them as well because we didn't have any more space for them. Yeah, we wouldn't have been able to fill it in five hours if it wasn't for our friends who came to help. So if on the odd chance that you guys are watching this, thank you so much. We are very lucky to have people who are willing to help whenever we need it. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to invite them over to not do work and actually make them some dinner or watch a film together when uh, this house is finally done. But yeah, being lucky to have the friends that we have at the moment. Um, and yeah, now just ready to settle in on this cold and dark Sunday. And speaking of cold and dark, one final thing, renovating in winter is way harder because we've got no backlight, for example. So once the sun was down at 4.30, there's not much more you can do, um, but, we got it done. Five hours of solid work. The garden's looking as good as it's going to at the moment. So Autumn's probably told you how bad we want carpet down. That means laying the skirting board, finishing off any odd jobs like laying the chipboard. Um, but also downstairs in the study, we used to have a chimney there and it's obviously left a massive hole in the floor. So what we're gonna do now is lay a piece of flooring down to cover that hole. We probably left it longer than we needed to, but we're doing all the odd jobs today because all the big ones upstairs are finally done. Because carpet's going down and we're just gonna use some leftover material, we're just gonna use a piece of OSB to support for small area 
usually you probably put floorboards down or the whole room in chipboard, um, but we'd rather just use some leftover material. So we're just gonna cut a piece of OSB to size. Um, it fits perfectly, it's the same, same thickness as the floorboards, and that should be fine. <laughs> Firstly, good morning, and secondly, look at that beautiful and very, very, very full skip. Let me show you downstairs. So this is what the garden used to look like. Um, it's been a bit of a hellhole for a while, if I'm completely honest with you. So it's not perfect, of course, but it's much, much clearer. The boys spent all day yesterday, well, all of us spent all day yesterday clearing up all of the rubbish and there was wood here and just a bunch of junk there but we've also knocked out all of the concrete that was at the back here and all of the concrete around the sides as well we're probably going to need to dig a little bit deeper um, I'm not really sure how laying a patio is going to work but yeah basically all of this is knocked out so that we can put new patio stairs in Here's the manhole that we were umming and ahhing about moving for ages, but we've decided not to do the extension, and therefore the manhole doesn't need to move here. And so basically it just means we have a lot less to do today. Um, also, ignore my puffiness, I've just woken up at 7am. And with that, time to sign off another week of renovating this house. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoyed watching the amount of work that we put into that garden. My triceps and my back, I can tell I've done some work, which is a good thing. It is Monday morning, so time to start a new week. The carpenter was in last week and he's here today to finish things off. I'll be sure to show you that as soon as he's done and out. And um, nothing more to cover this week. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and you're not yet subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. We upload videos every single Wednesday. And if you enjoyed watching me covered in pain and then covered in mud, please do hit the like button. Really helps boost the video and the channel. Now to crack on with our full-time jobs before we get back into it next weekend. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.